All right, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys um, how to remove a clock spring off of this uh, 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan. So, start off, um, let me show you guys. You hear that noise, that clicking noise. The spring inside is broken. Also, I have some um, traction control codes, which is steering angle, over travel. Now, when you replace the clock spring on this one, nine times out of 10, uh, you will need to reprogram that clock spring or the steering angle sensor. So, um, you're gonna either need to take it back to the dealer with a, so they can scan it with a take to scanner, or if you have a big enough scanner, you know, that has the information so it could be capable of reprogramming the sensor. So basically telling the car that it's back into alignment and the steering wheel is facing forward. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first off, I'm going to take off this, the airbag here. And before I do that, I'm going to disconnect the battery. Alright, here we are. I took off the cover back here, which is going to have two... Phillips screws and I believe it's gonna be a T25 of course this is gonna be under it and then for the airbag um, I already got it loose but basically has um, these clips behind it this one's right here that's three the one down there and this one right here and it has hooks right here that is gonna go into so you actually have to get behind this maybe turn the steering wheel to an angle get behind it and with a screwdriver pop them out and then do one at a time till it comes out so let me get this disconnected and kind of show you guys from behind that way you can see right. quick look behind the airbag so these are the clips that hold the airbag together so this one just when you're going to put it back on it's just going to snap into place but same thing when you take it off you have to get a screwdriver and pop these little tabs out because it's going to go inside the clips right here it has like a little hook those three and that's all it's gonna take to take that airbag off all right here it is airbag off um now you gotta re remove this 13 millimeter bolt right here i use the impact so i already loosen it up now this whole piece is gonna come off so these wires are gonna stay with the back and then we have to unhook this white connector here and then all these other wires are going to come with it when i take this off you see it has a, little, a lot of little teeth and it should have a guide you'll see a dot right there and then on the top of it all these little teeth and it, sh there's, it should only go one way as far as the steering wheel goes but either way i'm going to mark it with a or either way i'm going to mark it with a sharpie just so i can make sure i got I got it straight and I don't put it in sideways or anything like that but as far as I can tell there's really no wrong way of putting it if you can see that groove right there on the top it's longer than all the others so it should only go one way so let me take off this here top bar I have a Torx here one up here and one right here and then the turn signal switch after you disconnect it it just has a clip slides right out this button here your car might not have it but this one same thing it's gonna have a clip here and it's just gonna be able to slide out and then with this just slide straight towards you on the new one it's gonna should have a guide here that way this one doesn't move around just be careful with that don't take it off till it's absolutely in the dead center and you you're ready to put your steering wheel back on that way it doesn't mess up because the clock spring is made only to do a certain amount of turns one way and same thing for the opposite one. Alright here it is the new one's on and this is the little guide that I was telling you it doesn't let you turn it that way you can put everything situated and get everything bolted on and then we can get the steering wheel here I don't think the steering wheel well, I might be able to put the steering wheel here without removing this and then moving this at the end but this is the new one it's already here just gonna tighten up the bolts all around start getting the 
turn signal switch put on connectors and then get the the steering wheel back on top of it and start tying everything up like i said nine times out of ten probably gonna have to reprogram the steering wheel angle sensor um, but I do have the scanner for it. That's about the only thing that you won't be able to do at home if you don't have a big enough scanner for this. But hope it helps somebody. Um, <clears throat> if you like the video, give thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thanks.